Hey y'all, welcome back to Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. Now the other day, me and my girlfriend, we was down at the local Mexican joint, right? And I was looking at the drink page and it had this thing called Sangari on it. According to what the page said, it's a combination of wine, fruit juices, brandy, and then it has like fruit and stuff inside it, right? And I started thinking, I was like, well, I know how to make me some drinks. I bet you I can make a better Sangari than they can. And guess what? I did. So I'm going to tell you today how to make Billy Ray's Sangaria. First thing you need is some kind of little jug or something like that that you can actually mix this stuff up in. Now, it has fruit juice inside it, right? So first thing you need is you need two fruit juice pouches. Doesn't matter what flavors you like. Today, I'm using a combination of fruit punch. Oh, we're going to dump it on in here. And the other one, my secret ingredient, kiwi strawberry. So we're going to take that, put that all off. And dump it in here. Now we need some wine, right? Well, my girlfriend likes this fancy box wine that we keep over in the fridge. So I got two glasses of that. And instead of brandy, I'm using two shots of whiskey. Now you're going to take this, you're going to just find something to stir it with. You're going to mix it all up real quick. And now you got Billy Ray Sangaria. So we're going to take those two glasses of, uh, or two wine glasses that we had a second ago. We're going to put some ice in them. There's one. There's two. And we're going to take our Sangaria and we're going to serve it over the ice. Got one. And we got two. And now you're probably sitting there talking to yourself saying, Hey, Billy Ray, didn't you say there was supposed to be fruit inside that stuff? You're right. So what I do, because it's got all the fruits, I got gummy bears. So we take a handful of gummy bears, put it inside number one. Handful of gummy bears inside number two. And now you have Billy Ray's Sangaria. Guaranteed to be a pleaser. Mmm. Dang, that's good. It's Bill Ray signing off. Remember, you don't got to be fancy to be gourmet.